Hi, this is uh, Dave here with Eye to Eye today, and uh, what we're going to do is take and show how to make a green screen. Now, you can make a green screen at no cost at all if you have the paint in your house. It's absolutely free if you have the paint just sitting around. But the paint has to be a specific color of green, just like we're showing here. And we're going to take and demonstrate uh, how this actually works when we take and finish this clip. We have found that any green that you may want to take and use for this will not work. It has to be the specific green that we have shown you earlier in this clip. Okay, now what we're planning on doing today is demonstrating with a sheet of drywall. I went to the local Lowe's here and purchased a sheet of drywall for uh, actually $10, less than $10, I think it was $9.89. And what we're going to do is take and show you how uh, just painting a sheet of drywall and using it as background will also work just as good as painting a wall. Okay. Now here we are getting this uh, drywall painted and uh, I happen to have two different colors available in my garage. Uh, one is a darker color and the other one is a lighter color. What we're going to do is paint the drywall one piece a lighter color and another piece a darker color to see the effect that we have. After painting the drywall the colors that we had in our garage which were two different colors a lighter color and a darker color both of green we found that both of them created different problems in doing a green screen recording. As you can see with the lighter color we painted that wasn't the right color, there's a lot of pixelation and gray in the background here of Esther while she's dancing. Here we are again, and uh, this here is the darker screen. Uh, you've just seen Esther dancing in front of the uh, lighter screen that we have. And we're going to take and uh, see how this turns out as well as a lighter screen with Esther and make a comparison. Neither one of these greens actually work. They both create problems in their own way. So it concludes to me that there's only one true green to work and that's the one we showed you in the beginning of this. Here we have Esther dancing in front of the green screen of the green that actually works. And this is a color whether it be a screen or a wall that's painted or whatever but it really seems to work best for a green screen background. Now, as you can see, we've applied the green screen to this video of Esther dancing over a white background, and nothing shows up except for just Esther dancing. What a difference with the right color. As you can see, using the right color in the background, we really get a lot of clarity in our green screen recording. The only thing to keep in mind when you're doing a green screen recording is that if you're wearing something green or something that's going to affect the green screen, um, you may lose color in it. So therefore, be very careful as to the clothing that you may be wearing when you do a green screen recording.